Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and also welcome back to day two of Dolls Must, aka Vlogs Must if you're a normal person. Today, I'm going to be showing you my top 10 Monster High dolls that came out in the year 2022. Now, this does count G3 and all of the collector drops that have come out and some of the store ones like Real Drama and Creep Production. So, I'm just putting them all into one massive video rather than doing a G3 one and then a collector one because there's not a lot of dolls to that for. So, um, yeah, today we're looking at the top 10 of 2022. 22, in my personal opinion, again, <laughs> um, I would love you guys to let me know your top 10 from Skelector only or, you know, like all of Monster High 2022 down below. I would love to read your comments. <laughs> but before we do that, I got to roll my intro real quickly. So are you ready to jingle your bells? Okay guys, so we're gonna start from 10 and go all the way to number one. Do you like how long my nails are? I need to cut them, I know, but like work. Um, So yeah, we're gonna start with number 10 right now. Laguna. Some may say Laguna Pink, but it's kind of controversial to say that. This is Laguna's redesign from Generation 3. I think she had a really strong redesign. I do think some aspects are kind of childish. By childish, I mean these shorts. I just think they really do like not look great. But um, everything else I stand. Her hair is pretty nice. It's looking a little weird right now, but it is really silky. And after the hair video I did on Generation 3, I did put her little tendrils back into her ponytail. And I think it just looks so much nicer this way. But yeah, I just think she's really pretty. I love the face that they did for Laguna this time around. I love the mesh hoodie. I could live without the hoodie print that they chose and I understand they were trying to do like the original one but like I don't know. I don't like it. And obviously like the legs chip so yeah that's an issue. <laughs> but other than that she's a good candidate for number 10 and I think you guys should give Laguna Pink a chance to you know be in your collection because she's actually really pretty. At number nine is Twyla from the Creepover line and her skirt's kind of like showing things. This is Twyla's reintroduction into a Generation 3 and I honestly think she looks a lot prettier than her original doll, which is kind of shocking. I do love the color scheme that they chose on her original doll, but I just like this one's face a lot more. She is pretty new. She almost doesn't count as a 2022 doll, but she came out like last month, so I mean... Yeah, <laughs> I think it's a really cool fact that they did keep the glow-in-the-dark eyes. I really like the fashion that they gave her. Um, I do kind of hope they do another doll of her and give her like more of a basic doll look, unless this is her basic doll look, then um, okay. But I do want to see more Twilight dolls. I think it would be really cool. And I just think that the color scheme is all right, but I really love the original ones a lot more. And also like, I don't like the pink like hands. I just wish they would have done gray or black still because like, yeah, even the little squigglies on her leg. That is why she is at number nine. Number eight is, coffee break Frankie Stein. This doll is a Target exclusive here in the United States. I'm not sure if they're going to be anywhere else in the world basically but this doll comes with a deuce doll and I did like already chrome up their accessories so that's why they look a little extra shiny. I think this is the prettiest Frankie doll that's come out of G3 so far and of course it's because of the side glance. The side glance just like adds so much more personality to the doll and I think that they should do this a little more often on Frankie. It's pretty much just a normal Frankie doll but like the style is like actually really cute. I love the top jacket and the little shirt. I love the biker short and a lot of people don't like the asymmetrical like boots but I think it works perfectly fine because they're trying to emphasize the prosthetic leg on Frankie rather than cover it up with another long boot and I think it just gives a little more extra oomph to the doll. I also did kind of chrome up the lettering so um, yeah you gotta take that away from me a little bit. <laughs> I think they are actually really pretty. Their hair is really nice. I took this doll to Disneyland with me. <laughs> so their hair is a little mm right now. I could just boil it again. But honestly, if you could get this set on sale just for Frankie and then sell Deuce if you don't want him, do it because this doll is just so gorgeous. So number seven is a Voltageous Frankie from Comic-Con of this year. I think this doll is actually really pretty. I think the face got a lot better than their Honka Tour face. And even the lashes, they just look so much better. And I think that Frankie's hair looks really cute here and their outfit is all right it's a superhero so i mean i'm not really expecting too much like Han Couture, but i do think this doll is really stunning and surprisingly the resale market for them has not been too bad number six is real drama claudine what can i say about this doll other than she is gorgeous i think her face is actually prettier than the original run of claudine like i don't know what they did differently to her face screening other than like obviously her eyes being purple but like i don't know there's just something about her face that i just really love and my real drama's hair has kind of fallen. The curls aren't staying in. And that's the problem with 
Saran, but oh well. I think she's really cool, and I think it's a really cool twist on the original G1 version of Claudine, especially since we got a pre-production this year. I think this was like kind of a cool idea. I do kind of wish they would have just done Shadow Ghouls, but you know, that's just me. <laughs> but yeah, I think it's actually a really cool doll line, and I think this Claudine in particular is really, really pretty. Like definitely out of all the dolls that came out for real drama, she is the number one that I think you should totally go for, and then it's Draculaura, then it is Laguna, and then Frankie. <laughs> okay guys, so we're getting into the top five now. So um, this was a very tricky, but pretty easy like decision because again, not much Monster High dolls have come out this year. And I guess by that, I mean different characters. At number five is a G3 Draculaura. This is Draculaura's new core doll look. And I honestly think it is the strongest redesign out of the entire bunch. For starters, they finally gave Draculaura the proper height that she's been lacking for at least 12 years now. But I also really love the split die. A lot of people did not like it and I don't understand understand why because a lot of people used to reroot Draculaura's with split dye hair so it made no sense for the hate there. I also really love the body type change that they gave to Draculaura like she's so cute and I think her style is so adorable and it's pretty much something I could see a normal G1 Draculaura wearing. Like if they were to sell this outfit on G1 Draculaura you guys would eat it up I just know it. So her shoes aren't as spectacular as the original obviously because G3 dolls don't really have the extreme heels that they used to. I'm hoping that will come back one day. I just I think the screening also is really pretty and I like the little pointed bangs as well. Um, I'm surprised mine's actually look pretty decent <laughs> and this is my restyled and washed one so um yeah I think she's super cute but that's why she's number five. Number four is Holiday Draculaura. Now this is probably gonna be a shocker. The top three in my opinion just like serve a lot harder than this doll but um she's pretty nonetheless. Stock just came out pretty recently and she is still kind of like going in and out of stock. Um I'm glad that she's actually showing up on like Target's website and then some physical stores like Walmart and Target. She's actually really really pretty. She's the first holiday doll from Monster High to ever come out. We never got them back in the day so it's really cool that they're doing it for G1 still even though it's 12 years later. I think that they did a good job designing her. I really love the elements of the gothic fashion along with Dracula's signature pink. I love the little peppermint thing they gave her. I like the pie ponytail and all in all this doll is just like really really pretty so like if you can actually find this doll uh, totally grab her. Try not to play into the resellers because they're pieces of shits. Number three is Haunt Couture Claudine Wolf. Now this doll came out earlier this year along with Frankie and Draculaura and honestly I think she is very beautiful. I love her. I think that they did a good job designing her. I really thought her face up was very gorgeous. It looks more wolf like in my opinion. Like I think it's the eyes being a little more detailed to be honest. The fur coat I could have lived without or they could have done a better material but um yeah it is kind of giving Barbie extra. <laughs> and the little leather skirt is really cute. Her bag though being like a kind of callback to her original jacket but also in a machino style is so cute and I like how it's an actual real chain and the shoes like these are really cute I feel like we've seen like Claudine wear these before though but all in all this doll is just so pretty so obviously she's my number three number two is Haunt Couture Frankie of course it is I almost made Frankie number one because I just love this doll to death like this doll is everything to me I actually rerouted them because of their original hair was just not my favorite thing it was very thin so I basically rerouted them the same way but just like a higher quality saran and my friend Marcus did the trimming for me. They're all cute. Um, I do need to brush their hair a little bit because it's been a minute, but oh. I think this doll is gorgeous. Again, I think that the SDCC doll's face is a lot prettier than this one, but um, I love the fashion on this one. It screams Frankie. It's blue. Obviously, I'm a blue whore, so I love this to death. And it also ties back to their original G1 look, so I really love that. And let's talk about the shoes. Come on now. They do have a pretty basic bag, though, but um, yeah. And the number one Monster High doll, in my personal opinion, to come out this year is Hunk Tour Dracula. <laughs> I don't know. They just could not top this this year. I think Hot Contour literally was an iconic line, and I hope they do something similar next year. Like, five new dolls, a different theme. Obviously, let's do different characters, because I don't want to keep seeing the same four characters get dolls. Like, come on. There's a whole bunch of Monster High dolls. I mean, they're right behind you. <laughs> and I wanted to see more characters get a chance for collector dolls. But Draculaura looks so pretty. Like, they really put a lot of effort into Draculaura's design. I think the face-up for Draculaura looks amazing. The hair is kind of thin. I've noticed 
noticed that a lot with Dracula War Dolls this year. It's just thin hair galore. I think that they did a good job. I love the little hat that says vamp on it. Her little baggie is now real. You can actually get it at Hot Topic. Even this dress, I think, is at Hot Topic, but it's like super cheap, so like don't buy it. <laughs> but the cape is really pretty, and her shoes are very cute as well. They're not as good as Frankie's, but that is why Honka Tordrak is my number one Monster High doll of 2022. Like, they just really did that with this doll. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna round up everyone the final thoughts of 2022 and what I hope they'll do in 2023. Here are all 10 of the dolls I think are the top tier Monster High dolls of 2022. These are my favorite. Again, there's a little sprinkle of G3 in there and mostly some collector dolls. Again, I'm hoping next year will be a lot more G3 because, again, it's still quite new and there's not too, too much to go off from. And obviously, we have G1 still releasing collector dolls, so it's kind of like you gotta mix both of them in together. <laughs> but this is my ranking. I think I put them all in the right order. Um, I'll put it down below my ranking, but I also want to hear your ranking for Monster High 2022. I did the simplest way possible by just putting it all together, but if you want to do separates for like G3 and then collector dolls, then go ahead. But honestly, I think if Monster High continues doing more and more dolls, which they definitely will, um, I want them to make G3 just a little more edgier. I want to see them really push the boundary, change up the makeup. And as for G1, I just want them to fix the scalping issue and the resellers, and I think it'll be perfect. I also want to see them do different characters because it's literally just a bunch of Dracula, Frankie, and Claudine dolls. <laughs> and then there's a sprinkle here or there or Laguna. So I would love them to do any of these characters right here. There's so many. Skeleta has fallen over that they can literally expand on and not just keep doing the same characters. Like, especially Dracula. She's gotten a lot of dolls this year and she didn't really need all those. <laughs> but yeah, guys, that is my ranking. If this is your first time watching my channel, hi, my name is Jay and I do doll stuff. Duh. And I'd love to hear your thoughts on my rankings and also yours down below. And thank you so much for watching day two. Come back tomorrow for day three of Dolls Must. Guys, I will see you in tomorrow's video. So, bye for now.